we all want a good life in this world. We all want to live well. And Allah wants to bless us and give us a good life. But the problem is, people only want goodness of this world. Allah wants to give people goodness of both worlds. A goodness of this world and more importantly, goodness of the life hereafter. And many people in their prayers, they only pray for goodness in this world. And they only pray when they run into problems. Um, but when people pray to Allah all the time, and when they run into problems and then they pray to Allah, then the angels, they also pray on behalf of that person. Ya Allah, we know that voice. That voice is very familiar. Ya Allah, He always prays to you. He tries His best to obey you. He tries His best to live His life in a manner which pleases you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, He is in problems. Have mercy upon Him. Give Him ease and goodness. And when people don't pray to Allah normally, and normally, inna linsana la yatagha arraahu stagna. And when Allah gives people goodness in this world, people often rebel. Uh, they become disobedient, they become rebellious, they, they say, Allah, who's Allah? Uh, like, like Qarun. Uh, like Qarun, then they say, Inna ma utituhu ala ilmin indi. And this is all my achievement because of my qualification, because of the knowledge that I have, because of my hard work. What are you talking about? Allah gave me this. Um, then people don't want to know Allah. Uh, but when people run into hardships and problems, people normally only pray to Allah when they run into problems. And when they do that, then the angels, they say, oh, who's this guy? We've never heard his voice before. Uh, who's this bloke? Uh, but when people, when they are in the habit of praying to Allah regularly, uh, when they are happy, they thank Allah. When they are in problems, they make sabr. Uh, we should not let shaitan cheat and deceive us. And make us think, oh, all there is, is just, yes, we are independent. Allah is the only one who is independent. Allahu Samad. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. He is the only one of His kind. He is the absolutely independent who doesn't have any needs whatsoever. He doesn't need a house. He doesn't need a place. He doesn't need clothes. Wa yut'imu wa la yut'am. He feeds all the creation and nobody can feed Allah. Nobody can question Allah. Allah will question everyone. Allah will question everyone. Allah will even question prophets. Allahu Akbar, if only we knew what's coming our way. If only we knew what's coming our way. And people don't know, people don't care either. اِقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُورِضُونَ Oh you people, your reckoning is approaching fast. And what's the matter with you? Why are you turning away? Why do you behave as though nothing's ever going to happen? Uh, but when we see on daily basis, uh, people want more and more. Doesn't matter how it comes, as long as it comes our way. Kullu halal. Uh, kullu halal. Whether by deception, whether by fraud, whether by lies, whatever way, let it come. Uh, wealth has become deen, uh, the iman of the people. Uh, they loot everything from the poor. Invest, mashallah, in Swiss banks uh, and these international banks. They say, what aid shall we give your leaders? We give it with one hand, it comes back to our account through the other way. Uh, it doesn't get delivered to the needy people. Ali radiallahu anhu used to say, Mani atamada ala aqlihi faqad ikhtalla. Whosoever relies upon his sense, his intelligence, Allah will make him go crazy. Wa mani atamada ala ilmihi faqad dalla. Whosoever relies upon his knowledge, Allah will mislead him. Whosoever will rely upon his authority and power, Allah will humiliate him. And whosoever shall rely upon his wealth, then it will let him down. And whosoever shall rely upon Allah, Allah will never let him down. Allah will never let him go astray. Allah will never let him be short. Allah will not let him go crazy. Allah will never humiliate him. Allah will honor him in this world and honor him in the life hereafter. Our times are becoming so difficult. It's not easy to live like Muslims. Uh, but then Allah says, don't think it will ever be easy. You think it's easy to be a Muslim? You think you are going to be a Muslim and just Allah will order the angels to lay red carpets for you wherever you go. 
لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله وآله والأحبة لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله وآله والأحبة